It's a night better suited perhaps to be in a ski lodge somewhere, but we're at Coors Field in Colorado. We've got an NL Western Division showdown tonight between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. Kermit Yellowhorse, one of the season's top power hitters, makes a final push for a home run title. Next. Taiwan Walker is on the mound for the Rockies in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Their ball club is going to have to keep a close eye on this one. This guy's nearing 200 innings on the season, and that's a lot of innings. A guy that takes the ball every five days. I'm sure they're going to watch to see if there are any signs of him tiring early in this one. He's there. Coming to the plate now, Kermit Yellowhorse. And now the Diamondbacks look to push more across in the opening frame. Come on, right here, one time. Here we go. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is line to left. Robinette is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. A run on a couple of hits here for Arizona. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Diamondbacks one. The Rockies coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Into the box, David Dahl. Batting second. The center fielder, David Dahl. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Yellow Horse is in pursuit. He gets there, and that's the second out. Time now from Coors Field to take a look at the Rockies' starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, I think they need to get some better performances out of D.J. LeMahieu. He went 0 for 3 last game. No big deal. Only three A.B.s. But it was the way in which he looked going about those A.B.s. He didn't have a good look to him at all. We'll see if he can bounce back in this one. Three! Three! That's Stepping into the box, Taiwan Walker, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it, Yellow Horse. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. into the box. David Dahl oh, so far 0 for 1 with a the fly out. Fielder. One out, nobody on. Dahl. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Yellow Horse has a beat on it and he makes the catch for the second out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see there, he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. Play ball. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kermit Yellowhorse. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch coming, here it is. Line towards center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll get there as the Diamondbacks get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well, and after that knock right there, hey, hey listen, eight time. games is nothing to now sneeze that. at, so Second you can say, hey, he's going a whole Brad. calendar week with getting at least one base hit, so there's a lot of positives going on right now. 
Good pitch right here. Let's go, kid. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. So stepping in, Christian Not Walker. Bad. He was a strikeout three. victim in his first try. Put a good swing on it. Yellow go. horse, the runner at second with one it. away. Hit in the air out to left. Robinette is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So digging now in back. now, John Ryan That's Murphy, runner John in scoring Ryan. position with two gone. Right Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch ball. taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Here's a 1-0 cutter that's low, 2-0. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at-bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2-0. The 2-0 on the right way. 3-0 now. Right here. He's set. Here's the 3-0. Yep. And that misses ball four. ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. That walk is going to feel a little extra frustrating for this pitcher. Not only do you never really want to walk the number eight hitter, but it's also going to let the, the pitcher, pitcher hit this 21. inning instead of forcing him Miller. to lead off the next one. Miller. Ready with the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. D backs out in front, two to nothing. last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. Scorched on, to third. Right on to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Four, four, take the base. Three, take the out. Standing in, Kermit's yellow horse. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yellow horse. Hey, let her rip one time. Come on, guy, get your pitch right here. First offering on its way. No balls in one strike. Three runs, seven hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Come on, now, rip it. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Hey, let's go, kid. What time here? 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. This is in the air to left field. Robinette giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will pull into second with a hey, two-out right double. Nice there you go. 
You know, d -Row, the benchmark of having a great year is 200 hits. How about this guy? Rack up 250 hits on the season so far. Yeah, and you don't do that without just a staunch approach at the plate of using the entire field. This guy can move the ball out of the ballpark, can play line to line, opens up the entire field, no way to defend him. 250 knocks cannot be understated. Brad. No one better. What's up right now, babe? Nobody better. Clutch up for us right now. The one-two. Hit weakly back up, to the mound. Up, stand up. Throw in He's time, up. and the side is retired. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. squad and get a win now the pressure is off if they get one of the next two the series is theirs tonight's ball game comes to a close three to one the final the Diamondbacks jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back Warren Miller wins for the 17th time the top total on the staff Archie Bradley wraps it up for the save his 47th of the campaign so that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for the ballgame tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks. Three runs on eight hits. No errors. They left... From Coors Field in Denver, we've got baseball on this Wednesday night. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. Stay tuned for Rockies baseball next. Gio Gonzalez, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Gio Gonzalez, quality lefty. First thing you think of when you think of Gio, that big overhand curveball. Might be one of the best curveballs of baseball. Pretty good fastball, too. 92 to 93 miles an hour. That big overhand hook and a straight changeup. Really quality pitcher. Settling in now, Kermit Yellowhorse. And he's been really amazing to follow all year long as he continues to flirt with a 400 season at this point. What a terrific season this guy's had. As the season starts winding down, you can look back and say, this guy's been one of the most consistent hitters in baseball all season long. Now, boys, we take a look at the Rockies' starting play here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball. Yeah, you know, D -Row, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four of the first five, that sets up a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. Time now to look at the Diamondbacks' starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, Matt, keep an eye on that number two spot. He's coming off a month where he had double-digit totals in home runs. If you're looking at one category and you like the long ball, this is the guy to watch. One of the best power threats in the game. Three! Three! Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Now Hermit that. Yellow Horse. He got on top of one and was a Perfect. ground out victim last Yellow time. Horse. First pitch on its way. Now that's popped up. Daly has a play, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Play ball. Ow. Ow. Three. 
First base. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskers, and with you as Trevor Story digs into the right side of the batter's box to kick off the inning. Hey, give me something right here. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Yellow Horse moves over. One out. Stepping up now, Miles Harper. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. The 2 1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Yellow Horse is after it. Ball four, take it three, three. Uh, let's get ready. Digging in, Kermit's Yellow Horse. His last at bat didn't go his way as he like popped can. out Come in foul on. territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped hey, his back shoulder, there, huh? and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Hit on the ground right here, right toward here. the left. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody yeah, out. Boy, nice hit. Way to get Man, goal. this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, d -Roll. That extends his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah, he's leaking in the three series right here now. Nine games, that's getting that's firm. Better. He's seeing the ball well. And he's yeah. making a proper hey, adjustment to that play. Up there and do something with it. Let's go. Here comes the 0-1. Ground ball right side. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 2-0 ball game. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. be the four hole like hitter you. Dalton Lyons. Dalton Lyons. Working for the punch out and the offering. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right here, right here. Hole. And he indeed oh. takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. Now hey, batting, one Brad time. Miller. He's got to be looking for vengeance after Second getting pitch. plunked in his last Brad. at bat. Miller. Hey, get your pitch, see through, huh? Let's go. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. Digging in once again, Mark Madsen. Now batting, third baseman, Mark Madsen. And it appears they're going to give him the intentional walk here. So now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. And now hey, a crucial deep, spot. Doc, base go. is loaded. Two men gone. And that'll bring John up the Ryan catcher, John Ryan Murphy. Murphy. Here's the 1-1. One, one. His put in play to the right side of the infield. And a glove flip for one. So one run on three hits, no errors, and they leave the bases loaded. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the D-backs two, and the Rockies nothing.
digging in to try it again. The Kermit, white, yellow horse. He singled his Kermit. last time up. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's horse. off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Dahl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ladies one left for the Diamondbacks, top. but what they hold a 2 nothing lead. Once again, Kermit the Yellow Horse, horse. Oh. he flew out in his Perfect. last at-bat. Yeah, and I'm Yellow sure he'd horse. like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another fly-out fly. wouldn't Fuck be all that here. bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. High and deep to right center. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch them all on the Grand Slam, 38th home run of the season for him, as it's now a six-run ball game. Yeah, you've heard the saying, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, that was the case here. Bases loaded, facing the best power hitter in the lineup, and he showed why he is so feared. He knocked it out of here with a vengeance. He's out! Ow. So striding in, Bill Freeze. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Last strike now for Colorado. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 12 home runs for him now thus far, and it's a 7-2 game now. He's one of the best home run hitters in the league, and rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at-bat. Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. The D-backs jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Shelby Miller records the victory his 13th of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Gio Gonzalez pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks. Seven runs on nine hits. One error. They left nine men on base. The winning pitcher is Shelby Miller. His record now is 13 and 9. The loss goes to Gio Gonzalez. His 18th loss of the season. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.
from a rainy Coors Field in Denver, MLB Network is on the air. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. Get ready for Rockies baseball next. Chad Bettis, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, he's a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. Into the box now, Adam Kermit, Kermit Yellow Horse. Right it was a two-hit effort Kermit. for him, including a home go, run in last high. night's game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. These Rockies guys, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Hey, Matty V, we're taking a look at a team right here, D. Rowe. Through five games of this homestand, they're three and two. I know they were expecting more, but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two hey, on this homestand. That, yeah, this is an important one. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. On the bag, on the bag, right here. And he is in to third with a two-out triple. So just like that, there's a runner at third with two away as we give you a look there at the league leaders in triples. And with the year winding down, you can see he currently leads the NL in that department. Digging in, pitch, Dalton huh? Lyons comes off an 0 for 4 in last it. night's ball game. Dalton Lyons. Ready with the payoff pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. No damage done after the two-out triple. More ahead from Denver right after this. Here's the cleanup hitter, Bradford Robinette. Couple Don't of hits field, for him man. in four trips Bradford. to the plate last night. Yeah. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Yellow Horse racing back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, and that is 27 for him on the year as the Rockies have taken a two-to-nothing lead. If you want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. Hey, ball. Three. Three. Digging in for his second at bat, the Kermit right Yellow Horse. Kermit Yellow Horse. Let it fly, let it fly right here. First delivery to him on the way. Swing, line, drive. Hey, nice That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. On the back, he wants find the ball, three. Find the ball. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great. And he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine. Ready for another chance. Dalton Lyons, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The 3 2 pitch. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3 2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. 
the batter number 13. Trying to pick Second things up where he left off. Brad, Brad Miller. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Popped up. Story takes charge and he's got it. Two down. Up next for Arizona, Christian Walker. Now he drew a walk his first, first time up. Christian Walker. You're a pitch driver right now. One and two. Here it is. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Robinette waits on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Diamondbacks strand a pair. They're down 2-1. Bring up the speedy outfielder David now Dahl. Back. Runner in scoring position with two down. David. Story at Dahl. second with two down. This is skied out toward right. Yellow Horse will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for Colorado. They still lead it two to one. Kermit's yellow horse. Now He's back. tripled twice right already here. in this ball game. Kermit, yellow horse. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Slapped hard hey, the opposite that way. Up, boy. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So with that, the top of the fifth is still alive. Hey, Dan, this guy's having a monster series on the road. Were you aware of the home road splits? I think every player is, and sometimes it's just a matter of being either comfortable on the mound or comfortable in a batter's box in some visiting ballparks. And some guys, quite frankly, oh, like yeah. it better on the road than they do at home. Hit back toward the mound. Oh, and he just throws the glove up there and snares it for out number three. One left for Arizona. They still trail it here, two to one. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rockies. Now with the play, Kermit's yellow horse. We have lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. It doesn't Kermit. look very promising yellow so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, right here, it's time to get up. some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here, Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his Wait team down one. this many at this point in the game. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky. So striding forward now, D.J. LeMayhew. He's working on a one for three thus far. D.J. LeMayhew. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Yellow Horse ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Striding in for the Rockies, Bradford Robinette. 25. 
Walter Redford. on third. Yeah. Salter at second. Story at first. Two out in the inning. Hit in the air down the right field line. Yellow horse on the move. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. So one run here on one hit. No errors. And three left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Rockies are out in front. Nine to four. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Leading off the inning, Kermit's yellow horse, and they'll need him to get something going here. The task ahead here is this guy, one of the top save guys in the league right now. He's been very reliable shutting the door. First pitch coming, here it is. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here, nothing in one. Davis has tossed more than a thousand innings at the big league level and logged in with an ERA in the low threes. Behind 0 and 2 now. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Here's a drive out toward left right, center field. Down, Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with his nice fourth hit, hit of the ball forward. game. Well, it's always daunting to know that you've got to deal with the three, four, five hitters to start out an inning, but even more so when the three hitter starts it out with a double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy, and ideally you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. A runner at second, nobody out. Get yours right here, huh? Drive it up there. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Come on, Stepping baby. in, Brad Miller. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. One time right now. Three and one. Here it is. And that misses oh. ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Well, he walked them on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Now batting. Now at the plate, the Christian Walker. He got on top of one and was a ground out Walker. victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Yeah, you can do it. No Ready bad. now, John Ryan Murphy. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Let's go, kid. One time, right here. Arizona down to its last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 final score. Colorado win their 40th game in front of the home crowd this year. Chad Bettis earns his eighth victory of the season. Robbie Ray is slapped with his 15th loss of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for the ball game this afternoon for the victorious Rockies, nine runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 17 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 37 minutes.
Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.